Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. A brand new Terror Raid event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So the brand new Terror Raid event for Fluttermane and Iron Jugglers is now live in Scarlet and Violet. It will be running over this coming weekend, which is as of recording this video from the 26th of January until Sunday the 28th. So you've only got a few days to take advantage of this one. It will feature two Pokemon exclusive to each version in Pokemon Scarlet. You're going to get Fluttermane and it will be a five star Terror Raid, so not a too difficult a raid. will be set to level 75. Protosynthesis is the ability with the move Shadow Ball. Moonblast, Power Gem, Icy Wind, Sunny Day, and Dazzling Gleam. It will always be a fairy terror type as well, so easy to identify on your map when you've got the event in game. And it will also have the chance to be a shiny, although these odds are gonna be max odds, so you will have a one in 4,096 chance of one of these Fluttermans appearing as a shiny, although you're gonna have no outside influences like sandwiches or a shiny charm, which can reduce these odds. So do keep an eye out in the raid, you may come across a shiny. If you do, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Now, once you've beaten the Fluttermane, you will get a good amount of items. You're gonna get things like large XL candies and big nuggets, nuggets, PP ups, bottle caps, and ability patches. So not a bad raid to actually run through, especially with the strategy that we've got to solo in game it's going to make it very quick for you now alongside this raid you're going to have the iron jugglers which is going to appear in predominantly pokemon violet so it will be level 75 again a five star raid this time it's terror type is going to be solely that steel terror typing so again very easy to find if you're a violet player on your map will have the quark drive ability it will have moves dark pulse air slash earth power heat wave electric terrain and snarl and again we'll have those standard shiny rates of one in 4096 appearing on your map again when you beat it in your game you're going to be able to catch it and catch as many of them as possible because they're not limited like you would do with a seven star raid but you will get an array of good drops from these raids so it is worth trying to farm these if you want while the event is running over the weekend but like i say for Iron Jugglers in Pokemon Violet and Fluttermane appearing in Pokemon Scarlet will be running from the 26th until the 28th of January. To access this event in your game, you're gonna to have to make sure that you are online. Then when you are, come to your Poker Portal. When you're in your Poker Portal, come down to Mystery Gifts and then in to check Poker Portal News. This will update all of your dens on your map. And like I've already mentioned, they will only be appearing in the Paldea region, not Kitakami or the Blueberry Academy. Now, when you come onto your map, you're gonna be able to identify these pretty easily. They will have a white aura around them. Obviously in Scarlet, you'll have the fairy type mark on the dens. And in Pokemon Violet, you will have the steel type marks on your dens. And the build that I'm gonna recommend in today's video is gonna be Snorlax. It is gonna be set to level 100. Make sure you do hyper train it. So all those IVs are set to 31. For you Scarlet players going up against Fluttermane, I'm gonna recommend the held item is a Citrus Berry. The moveset is gonna be Belly Drum, Screech, Heat Crash, and Giga Impact. Just be aware that Heat Crash is a TM that you get in the DLC. So that is something that maybe if you've not got the DLCs, you might not have access to. That can be changed for something like High Horsepower, Earthquake, or even Hammer Arm. The ability is gonna be Thick Fat, and the EV spread is gonna be 252 EVs in Attack, 252 EVs in Special Defense, and the remaining six EVs put into that HP stat. So your stat should look like this after you've trained the Snorlax. And it's worth noting as well, Snorlax is an exclusive Pokemon to Kitakami in the DLCs, but it is transferable through from Pokemon Home. So if you do have a copy from a previous generation, you can transfer it into Scarlet and Violet that way. Although these Terror Raids are going to be five stars, so very easy, there is going to be a lot of Pokemon that are going to be able to go in and beat the Fluttermane and the Iron Jugglers pretty easily this weekend. This is going to be probably one of the fastest ways for you to do it if you're wanting to farm for those items and just run through these Terror Raids as quick as possible. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to come up against the Fluttermane. The basic strategy with the Snorlax is when you come into the den, the first thing you're going to see is the Fluttermane set up a sunny day. Now, that's going to activate its Protosynthesis ability, give it a boost to its special attacking stat, but we're going to ignore that and just lock in with a Belly Drum turn one. That is going to proc our Citrus Berry and maximize 
minimize our attack. It will, of course, cost us 50% of our health, but that's super fine. Snorlax is a very bulky Pokemon, gonna be able to take a flurry of attacks from this Fluttermane. Turn two, we are locking in with the Screech. That's gonna lower the defense on the Fluttermane by two stages, and then on turn three, this is where we pick up the clean one-hit KO. We're gonna lock in with that Giga Impact, and as you can see, an easy way to run through this Fluttermane with Snorlax. It's bulky enough to be able to take a bunch of attacks and allow it to set up. And this is a pretty seamless and consistent way to be able to beat the Fluttermane. Just make sure if you are in Scarlet, you have got that Citrus Berry held item on the Snorlax, but it's gonna be very easy for you to just go through all of the raids on your map and then beat these Fluttermanes pretty easily in your game. If you are a Pokemon Violet player, then you're coming up against Iron Juggalus. With the same Snorlax, what you're gonna do is is pretty similar to what we did with the Fluttermane. The only difference is I would ensure that you have the Covert Cloak item on the Snorlax over the Citrus Berry that you would have had on it for the Fluttermane. The problem with Iron Juggalus is it will always be faster than your Snorlax and it has a lot of moves that can flinch you like Air Slash and Dark Pulse. So just to avoid that and allow you a more consistent setup, use the Covert Cloak, it will prevent the Iron Juggalus from flinching you. So when you come into the raid against Iron Juggalus, on turn zero, it will set up an electric terrain that'll boost its quark drive ability. First turn, we're gonna lock in with that belly drum. And that's gonna again max out our attack and take 50% of our health. Turn two, we're gonna lock in with a Screech. Again, we're lowering that defense stat on the Iron Juggalus by two stages. And then turn three, just to ensure that we do pick up the knockout the next turn, we're gonna go for an all out attack cheer. So this is gonna boost our attack and our partnering Pokemon's attack for the next few turns. And then on turn four, we're gonna lock in with that heat crash. And every time it is gonna be enough to pick up the Iron Juggalus. It's not gonna nullify stats at this point in the battle. It's not gonna put up a shield this early. So we're gonna be in a safe position to always consistently pick up the knockout against the Iron Juggalus. When you've done that, you can catch it in whatever ball you would like and then you're going to be able to collect the rewards from beating this Pokemon. Of course if you have beat all of the Spotlight Terror Raid Dens on your map and you, and you want to respawn them just hit your home button on your controller then come down into system settings then down into system and date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off. Go into date and time, toggle through the options, click OK, hit your home menu, back into the game and you'll see all of the dens will respawn and you'll have a new batch of these Spotlight Terror Raids for you to go and farm over this weekend. Like I mentioned, these are five-star Terror Raids, so not anywhere near as difficult as seven-star Terror Raids that we would normally see. So there are gonna be a bunch of Pokemon that you're gonna be able to use in this event over the weekend, things that you've already got built in your game. But if you do want something that is gonna be very fast and consistent, the Snorlax is definitely the one for you. And some of you might really like Snorlax, so it gives you an excuse to use it in these dens, but a very consistent Pokemon that's gonna make run running through farming these items very quick for you over this weekend. Of course, we do have the event for the mass outbreaks as well, running at the same time as this event for the same time period from the 26th until the 28th. So if you wanna take advantage of that in game, make sure you do it over this weekend while it is running. And hopefully when this event ends on Sunday night, that will indicate the announcement of our next seven star terror raid event. Let me know what you think the next seven star terror raid event will be in Scarlet and Violet. I am lost. I don't know what we'll be doing, but maybe along the lines of another Gen 3 Pokemon. We'll have to wait and see for hopefully that announcement happening on Sunday. Of course, we will cover it as soon as that does go live. But that is everything for today, friends. Obviously, I'm in Liverpool this weekend for the regional championships, so not in my normal surroundings. So this is the reason why it looks like I'm in a hotel room, because I am. So if you are free over the weekend, do catch some of the broadcast. It's going to be a really good event and uh, enjoy the terror raids and the mass outbreaks while they're running Scarlet and Violet. I hope you have a great weekend. Hope the build has been useful if it has do drop a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content thank you so much for tuning in as always take care of yourself more importantly than anything i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care and bye bye